the final big task of the van build today. We are fitting a kitchen in the van. Probably the most important part of any van build, maybe second to the bed maybe. But yeah, kitchen's going in today. Cannot wait to get it installed. I've brought a bargain basement budget unit off of Facebook Marketplace for 50 quid. I'll show you now and uh, you guys can see what you think. Just like clockwork, my dad turns up. And now we've got to tackle with the British weather. How much we'll get done today, I don't know. But uh, this is going to be filmed over a number of days. So if my beard changes or my hairstyle or a different hat or a different jumper, don't worry about it. We're getting the kitchen done in this video. Now, the initial plan, which, oh, damn it, which may change quite drastically by the time this video ends. This is the vision I have so far. As we get it in and start cutting it, things might change quite uh, drastically. So the idea is to cut out the wheel arch, kind of similar to what me and Steve did with the initial kitchen unit that's now no more, um, but try and make a bit more of a neater job of it so we can actually get a proper kind of roundness and arch of the wheel arch. And then if I show you a little closer up view of this little, kind of jut, it juts out from the side of the van body here. All here is nice and flush and then it comes out. I would say that's about an inch or two that I would lose and would have to fill in if I just kept it flat. So I've been looking online, trying to uh, research various different scribing tools. You haven't got one, have you? No, no. So we need to try and get a scribing tool at some point um, or manufacture or makeshift one because we're gonna cut into the worktop of this said kitchen unit, which I'll show you in a minute. It's gonna come around here and then hopefully sit nice and flush against the side of the van. And just in the distance, so you can hear him. So hello, Nick. You right? <laughs> <laughs> That's hey, Nick. So uh, me and Nick have been talking for a few weeks. He's been up here a couple of times now. He's just helping me sort out a couple of the bodywork issues on the van, and there is a fair few of them. But you'll be introduced to Nick uh, in more depth in a future video, but uh, yeah. I just thought I'd say a quick hello to you. Nice to see you. <laughs> nice to see you, mate. Everything that we're going to be doing today, all of the power tools is going to be run off the EcoFlow River 2 Pro. I used it in my first ever camp with Matty down at Colmere Lake to heat the van for the night. I had the heater plugged in, I had various different things plugged in, my phone, the camera batteries, etc. And it did me a solid. And on a recent camp that I went on uh, with Dave and Rich and Gord up at Minsterley, I also used it to boil some water in the morning. And it's still got just under 80% battery left. So that'll absolutely plow through all of the power tools that we're using today. All right. Yeah. Just let it go. Actually, got it. You got some stuff in here. I know it looks like old broadband leaflets. It looks like an old pair of knickers, isn't it? I'm oh, so, sorry. Hang on. It's a sock. It's a pair of socks. Bloody hell! Take the bracket off and flatten the bracket. 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 Flatten the bra bracket. Bracket. <laughs> <laughs> and screw it in the bottom of the bar when that's level. Screw it in the bottom there. Okay. Let's make a few Stop. mistakes. <laughs> Look at that. Whoa, that's cool. Get a close up of that. <coughs> that is some serious jigsawing. That's like gotta be what, a quarter of a mil? That's gotta be, hasn't it? That's pretty yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty, pretty good, good, that. Yeah. And the River 2 Pro hasn't even skipped a beat. Now we're slowly approaching our last. This is, this, this is part two of the last screw. Okay? <laughs> this is part two. <laughs> <laughs> So, if you look down here, this is the room it takes up, and obviously, this you bottom. You do, yeah, yeah. Most of the camper van kitchen units with these Viros and Traffics take up the whole side panel. Wow. So this is actually a, a relatively small unit compared to what some of them are. Once we cut into it, obviously, then <clears> this will sit over the wheel arch, and then if obviously. I know what we'll do. I know what, what we'll do. What? While this is in place, when we can do it, get a pencil and mark round, follow it right round, follow it right round, and then that should go straight over there then. Oh, what a week it's been. For you, it's been about 
10, 15 seconds maybe, or a quick cut here and there since the last section of this video when we started taking the end of the feet off of this back unit here. But I'm just recovering from the tail end of probably one of the worst bouts of flu that I've ever had. So excuse my demeanor if I seem a little bit, um, I suppose, less energetic today. But I needed to mention something really exciting to you. At some point in this video, I'm gonna be letting you guys know, so make sure you watch all of it, how to win an EcoFlow River 2, the little brother to the River 2 Pro. I managed to win a giveaway from EcoFlow. I wanna say a big thank you actually to everybody over the past few months who's been watching the channel. You know there's been a few sponsorships, you know there's been a, a couple of um, good bits of luck that have come my way with some heavy discounts and even getting some stuff for free when it comes to the camper van bills. So I couldn't just carry on and not try and uh, get a giveaway for you. So within this video, there's gonna be instructions on how you can win this, the EcoFlow River 2. But now for the next stage of getting this kitchen installed. So now that back bit's off, we've got access to the back of the unit, which means we can get a bit of a clearer picture on where we're gonna be cutting in here, which will then allow for the unit to sit flush against the wall. We roughly scribed the bottom of the unit, crossed our fingers and toes, and started to cut. that you covered in dust. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if you want to learn how to fit a van and fit a cupboard the wrong way, you know who you come to. It's a year's trial. Okay. <laughs> New apprentices, welcome. We thought we'd give the bed a little test and see how far it slides out, but quickly realised we need to cut some more of the unit away. Power in the flipping hoover. <laughs> It's surged to about 1100 watts, and now it's roughly going at about 750. I must admit, I didn't think it was gonna power the Hoover. <laughs> right, well, let's crack on, let's keep using it. I can't believe that. The fans have come on keep the inverter cool. Obviously I've turned it off now, so it's pulling zero watts. That has genuinely surprised me. I did not think the River 2 Pro would power that Hoover. That's mental. A bit more. That's it. And the kitchen is done. I've officially taken it on a camp. Brandon, was that you? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and it works perfectly. I didn't want to sign off on this video yet without actually testing it properly, going around a few bends, making sure it didn't fall over and everything just fall out of it. I haven't put the drawers on yet, and I think me and my dad yeah. deserve a nice toast of a salted caramel three-in-one NY coffee. Okay, lovely. I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> So just while the kettle boils, I mentioned at the start of this video how you could win an EcoFlow River 2. All you have to do to be with a chance of winning one is leave a comment below this video with the hashtag EcoFlow River 2 and be a resident of the UK. Be sure to subscribe and enable all notifications because I'll be announcing the winner on my community tab soon. It's good, isn't it? I feel like... What do you feel Get like? me tattoo, having a PSD here and selling metal. <laughs> That's what I feel like doing. <laughs> It's actually quite nice to have you in the back of the van with me, having a drink. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? All the help you've given me. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. Let's have a toast. Well, good luck to the future. Yeah, thank you for your help, Dad. I appreciate it. Thank right, you. I think we're going to leave it there. That is the kitchen unit officially installed into the back of the van. Big thank you to EcoFlow for sponsoring today's video and sending me the River 2 Pro. It has been an invaluable tool on this build and also on the first camp as well. And uh, it's been a what? maybe two or three weeks since I charged it. So I think I'll give it a charge tonight for the next camp. <laughs> I'll leave a link in the description below where you guys can check out the River 2 Pro or any other EcoFlow products. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys on the next camp. Bye for now. <laughs>